welcome back to our channel i've got a friday um food shop for you today but i'm gonna do a refill with you as well i did it a few weeks ago on instagram where i just showed everybody how i refill like our fruit and the kids boxes and like some snacky stuff and that so i thought i'd pop that into this vlog as well this was i have meal planned so i'll put the meal plan up here somewhere um and most of it is from taming twins and then just like a couple of easy dinners but i've meal planned this week and i wrote a list and i followed it almost um on my list i didn't put any of like the snacky things on there so I did go off the list but I knew I was going to go off the list because I knew obviously I needed snacky bits and I needed bits for lunches as well so I pretty much only put dinners and things like washing up liquid and medicine and deodorant on there because I knew that I was running out of those but yeah I'm going to show you what I've got and I'll tell you what's what with what like as in what's with what meal plan if that makes sense so I think all in all it was about £80 which is phenomenal for me phenomenal however i have just been to a farm shop a couple of days ago a day ago and i'd already got my strawberries already got my grapes already got my pineapples um and also also got my honey as well so i didn't have to buy any of that with this food shop so that alone if i would have brought pineapple strawberries grapes from um melon if I would have brought all that from Sainsbury's, it would have easily added on probably another £15. But the farm shop that I went to, the punnets of grapes were only a pound and the punnets of strawberries were only a pound. So I felt like I saved quite a lot of money on that. So just bear that in mind with this food shop only being £80, that it doesn't include strawberries, grapes, pineapples, melon. Okay, let's go. So I needed to top up on some medicine, so I got some ibuprofen and some paracetamol. Adam also needed deodorant, so I got him this one. He was very specific, he didn't want the one that I got him before because apparently it's horrible. These are my pineapples that I got from the farm shop. They're not very big, but it was two for a pound. I thought that was amazing. I needed more fairy washing up liquid. I brought myself some more sunflowers because they're only four pound and I just my other ones lasted so so well and they're so pretty and so beautiful and I just love them and they're in the seasonal um flower section at the moment so I needed some bread the kids have gone back onto white bread they went off white bread for ages and we was having whole grain bread but now they're back on to white bread I'm just going to go with it I'm not going to force it either way uh, we're having burgers tonight which is on the meal plan these are for lunches so we've got the bagels also the breads for lunches and then i got some greek style flatbreads which i'm going to use these for like the tacos which aren't tacos if that makes sense for my salmon tacos these are for lunch boxes so elijah has these which are the mango yo-yos and seth and elijah no seth and reuben have the yogurt fruit so i've got two packs of those this is for their snacks like in the week snacks so i get the fruit in juice because it has no added sugar so it's just natural sugar in so i've got the mandarins and i've got the peaches also i've got fruit cocktail again in juice because it's just natural sugars um, i'm trying really hard to only have things with natural sugars and try not to have things with added sugars in so i've got this burger mix because i'm at my own burgers now this is really really nice and it's only 70p and it has no added sugar in it which is really good it's literally just dried onions um right, there you go it's just like dried onions and some seasoning and onion powder and nutmeg white pepper and stuff like that so i also got a fajita mix oh i'm blurry i got a fajita mix that's for my salmon some bananas and avocado for an avocado dressing i got some i really wanted british apples because i was looking and all of the apples were from south africa and ugh, it's not obviously i haven't got an issue with apples being from south africa but i just wanted to support like the british farmers but only these little red ones from, were from britain everything else was from south africa or there was some from korea i think and i was a bit like hmm, i really wanted to like get some from like obviously britain so these ones were uh grew in kent i got two cucumbers so these i did still get some granny smith apples because my kids like green apples so i got some of those heart of romaine lettuce and i got some runny honey so this might sound really 
a bit mean but this is really expensive honey this is local honey so this is um from solihull which isn't very far from us and this is 7.99 no 8.49 for a jar and i know that sounds really 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 extreme but it is honestly the best honey that i've ever tasted in my life so when i'm cooking with it i use that nice honey but the kids like to have honey a little bit of honey on their cereal so if they're having malties or wheat bix or um like rice pups like when i was younger we used to like cane sugar all over it but they'll have a little bit of honey on there so i get the runny honey just for that purpose but cooking and other things that's when i do the expensive honey i got some more bananas i got some baking potatoes because we're having baked potatoes for one of our dinners and then just normal potatoes as well and then this is for the butternut squash curry so i've got curry paste uh, some burger sauce for our burgers mango chutneys also with the curry this i got if i saw this plowman's plum chutney and i thought as we're having a plowman's this week i feel like i really need to get that it was not on my list uh lighter coconut milk uh that's for the curry as well so this is for like the snack drawer now so i do always get a pack of polos because i quite like it and me like Ruben has a tiny little bit of anxiety so if he feels sick at all which I used to get this all the time when I was little um he gets really anxious and he feels like he can't be in a room with people if he feels sick but a little bit of a polo really does help so I get some packs of polos this is for the biscuit tin so I've got three packs of cookies this is for their boxes so if you're new here I feel my my children all have a box each that I'll put snacks into and that's their snacks and then they self-regulate when they eat their snacks how they eat their snacks through the week but it doesn't get filled up at all so that's up to them at the end of the day if they want to eat all of it in one day to be fair i probably wouldn't let that they do have to ask for it something out their box but if they want to have more stuff over the weekend rather than in the week then that is up to them because i'm a proper advocate for self-regulation of food so yeah so I've got them some Smarties, some Freddos. Oh, these, and this is for lunch boxes, sorry. So this is just so they can take a pack that's not to go in their boxes. These chocolate biscuits. Um, and the crisp wafers, wagon wheels, and the Kinder cards as well. So though, that fruit over there, that's for their boxes. They class as a snack as well. These are for lunch boxes. So Maryland. I got two packs of those because they take a pack of cookies. Treated me and that well, treated all of us. Everybody eats these nuts now. Like my kids are really good at trying new things, but that also means that they end up liking the more expensive things as well, which is quite frustrating because everybody eats these nuts now. So they don't last for it. A pack does not last between the six of us for very long at all. Um I got three packs of those because these are currently on offer for 125 in Sainsbury's i got two packs of the Simply Salty Butterly Butterfly Popcorn. So it's got no butter in it. It's just literally salted popcorn, which is really good. So there's no added sugar. So my kids can have a small bowl of these every day as well. And then some apple pies and some Brambly Apple Blackcurrant Pies, which are yummy because we always have pies. We're a very snacky family. So then onto my chill. Well, actually, I've got four pineapple juices. These have been out of stock for so long. That's why I've got four. And then four orange juices. Two four pints of milk. I got some whipping cream because my kids are still, even though it's meant to be like nearly 30 degrees for the next four weeks, are obsessed with hot chocolate. I got two double creams because I'm I've got some lemon, I've got some lemon meringues. So I got these the other the other week, but we used our double cream something else. So I want to do these with some lemon curd on and some double cream whipped cream, and then we might have some strawberries with some double cream as well because it is tennis season. But I also want to use one of them to attempt to make butter. Everybody's making their own butter from double cream, so you whip it and whip it and whip it and whip it until it separates so then you have the buttermilk and then the butter and then you wash the butter until it's clear 
and then you've got butter and you can just add sea salt to it and it's salted butter so i'm gonna give it a go because i don't know if anybody else is seeing in the news that lower pack is now at 725 a tub for the big tub um and i think it was four possibly four pound for the smaller tub so i was just like and we really like lower pack so if i can make my own butter that would be really cool like not just a money saving thing it would be really cool if i could say no we make our own butter we'll try <laughs> i'm gonna give it a go <laughs> i don't know how it will work out i got some fruits this is for lunch boxes this absolute plastic cheese which is awful is to go on our burgers <laughs> but it tastes amazing um i got two sets of puff pastry because we're having the puff, puff pastry slices for dinner i needed to top up on my cheddar because obviously we have that for like breakfasts and lunches hello me because gracie's um won't eat salmon and i don't think elijah will eat the salmon either so the salmon tacos will be halloumi and salmon tacos so uh the wensley island cranberry cheese for like the plowmans to go with the plowmans honey roast ham slices that's also to go with the plowmans as well greek style natural yogurt just because i always have that in um beef mints i've got two of those because one is for i'll make my own meatballs and then the other one is for i'll make my own burgers the salmon so i just got the two salmon which is for the salmon tacos i got the frozen butternut squash and i got frozen cauliflower as well i don't know if the frozen cauliflower will work as well in the curry but i do want to buy a fresh cauliflower because i haven't committed to which day i'm doing it yet um i got some potato salad just to go i could make my own potato salad but this um it's because it's coming to the end of school and the end of clubs it's just getting busy now and grace's got a lot of gym gymnastic displays and stuff now and i've got nights out because it's my friend's birthday and other things are going on so this is like needed to be an easy week for dinners so i've got some potato salad to go with the plowmans that i'm going to do and a deli style coleslaw i didn't want this size i wanted that size coleslaw but they didn't have any so i need so i was a little bit sad about that and i also got some which is amazing so yes that's everything i got i also brought myself a clothes airer um i've actually opened it and already put stuff out this was the clothes airer i got not gonna lie it's rubbish it's not really it, it needs tightening but i shouldn't have to tighten something that's absolutely brand new so it really annoyed me that did i'm a bit frustrated because it was 22 pounds so i probably will end up taking that back if i'm being honest so yeah so i'm going to put all this away and then i'll show you how i refill all of my fruit and all of my tubs and snacks and stuff
that's it all done all topped up kids will be happy when they get home from school and yeah we will see you next time bye